Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will talk about surface area, contour surface area. It's a finishing operation, but very different from array bank or Z double. Uh, they are streamline and surface area brothers. Uh, they uh, mainly use the same uh, logic. The main difference uh, of surface and streamline from Z double and contour area projection vector and uh, selecting the drive geometry. Uh, let's talk about their logic. When you design uh, when uh, when you design a, a model, the U and V uh, lines are created. You can see them here. The surface area uh, drive method uses these U and V lines and they are the most quality uh, tool pads also when you use U and V tool pads because uh, the model is uh, created with these lines. Okay, first uh, let's look the classical finishing methods Z double profile uh, as I said before Z double profile isn't uh, suitable uh, for non-steep surfaces like here so you can see uh, that it isn't very quality uh, tool pads contour area it is zigzag method it is good there is not much uh, lifts uh, not much air moves and follow periphery one engage and one retract pardon uh, two en uh, engage and two direct threads. it is okay it's acceptable let's do this with surface area contour surface area ball mill first we will uh, we will create tool paths on these blend surfaces we click edit first we must specify drive geometry uh, look be careful it's not specify cut area it is specified drive geometry so you can't use tangent faces or connected blend faces you uh, you must choose uh, areas that in uv in the same uv direction okay when i choose a different uh, area that isn't in uv isn't in the same uv direction i will have uh, this uh, warning I choose all blend surfaces and click OK. Be careful uh, when I click OK. I have three vectors. Two of them is U and V uh, directions, and one vector is the vector that uh, uh, to machine. You can say that this is a solid model. Uh, of course, the uh, open area will be machined but uh, you can uh, these surface and streamline is used for 5x operations so uh, both uh, both uh, sides can be machined if you think that it is uh, just surface it's not solid model okay zigzag number 10 uh, it is different to uh, these so uh, these uh, surfaces uh, in these surfaces ten uh, tool pads will be created. We will cr uh, we click uh, display and we can see the tool pads. If we use tolerances, we will uh, use 
high tolerance uh, tool pads. It's it's like in tool out tool in cutting parameters stock tolerance, but not the same actually. Dot zero one display. I can see more quality uh, tool pads, but uh, the tool pad creation time will will be uh, long as I uh, do this. Okay, I click generate. Uh, unlike the RM link. It can start from lower. I come, I click edit and cut direction. I click this uh, and I I mean that I mean that uh, start from here and go to this way. Okay and generate. You can see that the tool moves according to these UV surfaces. And it is a very quality tool pads because it uses these UV directions. Okay, let's do the middle. I click edit again and specify the right geometry. And the last surface. Okay. The 10 will be less for it. A hundred tolerances and display. Uh, this display may not show always. Uh, oh. We made wrong. Uh, let's do this again, and I will show you one thing that I forgot. Uh, okay, and you can see this uh, vector UV, not UV, this vector that inside the part. So I click flip material and click OK. Now we will see uh, this preview better. A hundred and tolerance. Okay. Now you can see the, the toolpad preview and click OK and click generate. You can see a very, very high quality tool pads here. It doesn't make any this envelope moves in follow periphery, but the there is some mistakes here, some gudging here. Uh, why this is created? Because the projection vector is with uh, tool pad, uh, pardon, tool axis side, same with tool axis. So when you project this uh, in this way, you can't see this steep surface. So I use normal to drive. It projects the tool pads uh, with normal vectors to, to this drive areas. And I click generate. Tool pad creation will be longer because it calculates the projection vector now. You can see that the projection is done better. 
and we got very high quality tool pads. The last thing I will show here is uh, we were doing optimize uh, or on part on RM link. We can do the same. Scallop dot tree dot tree dot tree. Okay, and generate again. You can see that the gaps uh, on uh, steep areas are filled with toolpath, but the calculation time uh, and the result toolpath tool length uh, got longer, but surface quality uh, is better now. Okay. You can see the tool pads. We have uh, other two parts for surface area. Uh, I don't want to make very long videos because it it is it will be boring for the watchers. Uh, it's all for this part. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please ask me on comments.